new smartwatch that looks like a classic timepiece and gets up to 100 hours between charges. This guy, Rich Jamero, hit or explain in today's text, Martin. Now, is this the watch you showed us before? Yes, this but is now the we're one. It in, now we're seeing it. Nice. Uh, I've, I've worn it for about uh, maybe a week and a half, and uh, now I've got my full review, so I've had a chance to had to do this last time. There it is. Watch. Yeah, so I've got it on kind of a old school looking you digital. Know, digital. Can you change the face to like a more classic? Oh, watch? yeah, there, there are so many watch faces on here. Um, let's see if I can do this on TV, which is always tricky, but they have yeah. so oh, many watch faces. That's like, nice like that one. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot of yeah, and It just looks really nice, too. So, if, yeah, if you want classic, you want modern, fun, they've got all the watch faces covered. Uh, this is the company OnePlus. They've been on a roll lately. Their last two smartphones have gotten great reviews. Now they're doing this smartwatch that's challenging the status quo. It gets up to 100 hours battery life between charges due to a unique hybrid operating system. After a three-year hiatus, OnePlus is back to watches with the OnePlus Watch 2, a smartwatch that looks like a classic timepiece. All the basics are here, a nice big screen, good water resistance, plus fitness, sleep, and stress tracking. The unique aspect is how the battery can last up to 100 hours. A power-efficient processor handles time, another handles more intensive tasks only when necessary. The watch has a hybrid operating system with Google's Wear OS. You can even get 12 days of battery life in power save mode, which gives you basic functionality. This is the new Android smartwatch to beat. It's well designed, it's snappy, but OnePlus is only guaranteeing software support for two years. When it's time to recharge, that's also really fast. And OnePlus gets the award for the best smartwatch charging adapter yet. It's not connected to a cord, so you can use any USB-C cable to plug it in. I averaged about three to four days of battery life with typical use, including sleep and fitness tracking. What's the weather like in Athens today? Tonight in Athens, the forecast is around 59 with scattered showers. Currently it's 61 degrees and clear. OnePlus developed their own fitness app called OHealth. It's simple yet provides good details. It can share data with Android's Health Connect. The watch tracks over 100 activities with impressive detail. OnePlus did a great job on the watch faces, although you are somewhat limited by the complications you can add if you want maximum battery life. Downsides? Notifications can be slow to appear when you raise your wrist, the screen can be dim in bright light, and the vibrations feel weak. But overall, this is a smartwatch done well. There you have it, the OnePlus Watch 2, available now for $300. You can trade in any watch in any condition for $50 off. If you want my full review, you can go to the website richontech.tv. There you have it. Good looking watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for those who might be comparing, say, an Apple Watch to this watch, what would you say are the primary differences? I mean, the main thing with this watch is it's not going to work with the iPhone. Right. So, and the Apple Watch on the flip side only works with the iPhone. There's one more thing to note. There's no cellular version of this watch, which means you cannot use it by itself without a phone, you know, nearby if you want your calls and texts. Got it. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. Uh, 